Okay. Old camera, but works perfectly fine. Another week, Super Bowl weekend. Didn't exactly watch it with my friend's side, but I had some people on the phone that we were streaming and doing other stuff. And I'm still doing other stuff as always. I've got gigs and gigs of files to, to organize at the house. So I'm going to start doing that tonight, and hopefully that'll be done by tomorrow. But yes, this is Drake the Dragon. I know. Apparently, I've been associated some more. Boo-hoo. i got to realize those type of people are just people. So, updates for this month. Well, January was a bust. We didn't do the uh, paranormal thing because it was flooded out, the location. So, we rescheduled it to April. That couldn't be any sooner. Come on. It can't be February or March. It's cold right now, but... Maybe April's warm enough to you to abuse the pool outside. Most hotels have pools. I just don't know if they're heated. If they got a jacuzzi that's heated, that might be something to hang out at. But we're usually there for just one night, so I almost don't get to use it unless I get there and change it to Friday night. Surprisingly, hotels in California are outrageous, anywhere between one fifty to two fifty a night. Now, when I got into the paranormal, I was doing about probably 250 to 300 a night at Queen Mary times five nights or four nights. So, and not sharing any room. So I played a pretty penny and took about two to three months of working in orbit to catch up. So now I've been working better on budgeting this stuff. I do want to get into developing equipment, gizmos and gadgets this time. And this way, whatever I have in my collection, I could either sell it off at a certain time or trade it in with other people. But right now, the way things are going, I'm just going to have to uh, bite the bullet. Good news is I'm okay financially. There's nothing bad going on, so everything's a plus. But as you can see, this office is empty. All my stuff's gone on the back. Got a couple little things there, and that's it. I'm thinking tomorrow morning, throw it in the box, or tonight, throw it in a final box and bring it out tomorrow on the way home from office. I'm trying to get the home office cleaned up to a certain degree. A couple of little minor updates. The timer that runs the door controller turnout was actually running on my machine. I guess I was just too lazy and just set up a task scheduler to trigger Internet Explorer to run a shortcut. So I just triggered it, and then I didn't realize that until I started seeing the pop-up in the morning when I log in. And I usually have it close that window after about 15 minutes or so. So I generally don't notice it, but then I realized, should I be running it that way? So I set up a VM to do it, which I might take it down and put onto a Raspberry Pi so I can put the trend, the device that sends the command in the room downstairs. This way, when we take down the network up here on the upstairs, it's not communicating with the downstairs floors. I like this building because as big as this building is, and the square footage it covers. The wiring here is just rock solid after 10 years. The other building is built correctly to, of course, TIA, EIA standards, at least the standard that we need to get the job done. And so is Tennessee Warehouse. What I don't like about my setup is I did too good of a job, and because of that, we rented the other warehouse out, and I have a funny feeling that we're going to do the same thing at Bell Gardens in six months to a year. That's not the reason why I'm here. The reason why I'm here is to have a career job that hopefully goes up with the skill sets and goes up with the economy. So, so far there's two X's. Work is t almost twice the distance away where I started. Don't get me wrong, I was 21 to 25 and then became, yeah, it was about 21 to 25 miles out. Now it's 33 plus and I have to cross through 91 and traffic ain't doing so well, so. I might have to start rethinking because the cost of everything. Now I'm trying to convince to move the servers rather than move it to Bell, Bell Garden. Why don't we just move it to an actual data center and plug it in there and then build out from there. But now he's like, well, you're going to do it twice. It's going to be moved on to the cloud, blah, blah, blah. Okay, then let's start calculating storage fees. Let's start getting the numbers down for five or six terabytes of storage. I'm actually going to be upgrading that on my own cloud, personal cloud because I'm moving everything onto the cloud too, but I don't really want to. I have about 12 terabytes of data all over the network. 
but this gives me an opportunity to reorganize it anywhere in the world so I can organize the file in between work, in between time, in between travels, maybe on my phone. And once I get everything organized, I can dump it back down. So I've got some big drives at the house. There's a big four terabyte on this machine here. So they all great for backup of data. But my problem is people don't treat data. They treat it like software. Right? It just goes outdated. Why are you keeping a document five years old? Kind of like your tax returns. You should keep it. But why should you keep it? The digital storage, the beauty of it is you can take a hard drive, duplicate it all, set it on the shelf, and it's archived. And you hopefully will never need to do it. And you put a date stamp on it and you can dispose of it properly. It's pretty easy. Just wipe the drive and you're good to go. Now, on physical media, which I have some paperwork over there that I still am slowly going over, that's probably going to be shredded, dumped, and whatever, and shrinking that up. I've got stuff at home that I'm probably slowly dumping and going through. And as I'm going through a lot of old stuff, including the musky stuff I collected before, shouldn't be musky, but I thought it was dust. But now I realize dust is generally mold spores. And when mold spores hits, let's say grows its way into fabric and if the fabric is covered such as a plush especially if it's styrofoam it will grow its way inside because there's no light and since there's no light inside now i've noticed the stuff i leave in my car never got mold never had a problem now i know why it's always exposed by uv push comes a shove it gets eaten by the sunlight instead so you risk two methods so the question to ask myself now, do I really want to have the life of collecting? And if I do, I need like Arizona. If I move to Florida, you have to run the AC 24 by 7. And depending on what type of stuff you collect, metallic stuff like old vintage equipment, it's going to corrode. You get wooden equipment, that's probably going to last anything a lot longer. But then again, the wooden equipment has its issues. So when I grew up in Florida, we had press wood table and we kept the AC running, but the, despite the humidity hitting about average 80%, we never seemed to have had the black mold issue. California is the only place that I've had it once. I've had it with plush one time actually that I'd gotten and then I unstuffed and removed all the materials out of it and sent it to a fur that apparently never sent it back. He claimed his mom threw it away and was willing to pay for it. I should have just took the cash dispersal. Of course, he's also on my shit. I'm on his shit list, apparently, which I can't believe for someone that I actually worked with in the past. But I guess we all grow up, we all change, and it's time to start moving on to other things. I will still continuously make the new toys. Production wise, I've got a few projects going, maybe one more for the win. But storage is going to be a problem, so don't be surprised if my packages take a few days. Because what I'm doing is I'm tracking the local storage at the house and the auxiliary storage is that storage facility. And as soon as I can spend time at least once a week, I'm actually trying to move out of second storage and shrink it back down to a single storage. So with all that stuff going on, things are going to get shuffled around. My 3D printer's over there. It's no longer here. I kind of miss it. I had a lot of stuff here and I wasn't expecting to be shoved out of here this soon. I was hoping for at least one more year of rain. That gives me enough time to organize my home office and remodel it. But now I'm going to have to just go through and bite the bullet and just start moving stuff around every night until I get that place cleared up enough that I can do a remodeling project on it, which might not even happen, hence the second storage problem. Which actually cost a lot more than my first storage. My first storage is now 200, second storage is 150, so that's 350 now a month going to storage. So I'm hoping by the end of this month, I can clear out of the second storage, break down the second shelf, or at least move one of the second shelves possibly over to River Coombs pad. Not sure if he needs more space to store some of the other materials there to set up a Z pattern. It would be rather interesting to figure out which direction to go there because, well, it's a direction like anything else. So, I know I'm mumbling, and uh, this is uh, Saturday night, and I was watching Paranormal Soup, and uh, it's actually got probably the last 30 minutes, but let's see if it'll even play. It decided to hang on me. So, we're going to see. 
but it's still rolling. Yeah, he is really having a heated discussion. I'm going to join back in, and uh, this will be uploaded right now.